Hey, how's it going? So just going to make a quick video of some uh, pest controls, I guess, uh, mold controls, uh, things that I've had to use in previous grows, or even the grow that I'm using now. So we'll just start off with what I think is one of the first things, is just some sticky traps. And basically, sticky trap is just going to alert you to something that you may not see. And uh, this is just the flat kind. You could tie them up into a little flip, use the ties, tie them up. I like to set them on top of my pots and I can see if I got anything crawling around. Now this one product, it's Safer's, I think it was at my Walmart in town. And uh, they're pretty cheap and definitely well worth having in your little toolbox. I bought these ones because I thought they were cool and it's a Canadian company so I figured I'd give it a shot and they're basically exactly the same as a sticky trap everything with them works well they're a little bit more annoying to get the paper off of it due to the shape but you can stick it right into the soil if you want it or if you wanted to hang them and you know it's butterflies in your garden so there you go and that was like uh, sticky traps and there you go Canadian company So moving along from that, from the basics, with this whole one take, uh, here I'll use some of the stuff that I went with through with the last grow. So I had some fungus gnats, so went with this, pretty much cleared them up and worked as described. Uh, I did one good application and that problem was pretty much solved, uh, done issue, and it's just an insecticidal soap, there's a hundred different kinds of them and I think that's just an average. Uh, I wouldn't give the best recommendations on how to use it, but you could always read the bottle. And then along the same lines with my last grow, uh, I had a little bit of powdery mildew kind of showing, just some spots on a few leaves. So what I did is uh, I just kind of sprayed some of this around. And for me, uh, it was one of my first grows. So I think I didn't really get the best use out of it. It really didn't 100% solve the problem or the problem didn't go away. And uh, I guess through that grow, I had to educate myself in how to reduce the mildew chances. So this is what's left of that. And then I would say on my most recent grow, I had some spider mite issues. So spider mites being so wonderful, you have to use all kinds of stuff. So I had this product, Jake's. I'm not too sure if you can still get it in Canada, unless it's just some leftover products. And this one seems to work, but the spider mites don't necessarily go away. Here's another one. This is like a Walmart special that I got from my hydroponics store. And it is Bug Be Gone. And it works the same as the Jake's. It's a little bit of a different style and uh, I think this one's more canola based and this one might be more alcohol style based but they pretty much work the same and you always want to interchange them as you can and then here moving along we got a fogger and then this one is just simple you just spray it around I haven't used this one basically just keep it so in case I have a little outbreak or if I notice something I could just try to do a quick fog and hopefully that'll save the problem and then this one here I kind of just use it to give a little spray around just as a bit of maintenance and uh, it works pretty good it's spider mite knockout and all these are available pretty much in my local store so just a quick sample video there it is enjoy